Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Hammer Time, I do some of this. Some of this. And a little bit of that. I'm gonna keep the power hammer glory going because uh, that's Fletcher hanging off the hammer. Is a power hammer cool, Fletcher? Hammer Time is kind of like a vlog series that I run. It's basically me at the workshop and stuff that's going on, news updates. Basically takes all the crap out of the end of the videos where I was saying it before and I put it in now, basically. So a bit chatty, loads of interesting stuff. Uh, some footage from the Navin, uh, the coal mine up there, and a little bit of stuff from my nephew. Hopefully that's interesting. Uh, and then, um, just some general worky stuff and the news at the end. So I'll see you on the other side. So I'm just at home and I'm wrapping up a box uh, of goodies for one of my Patreons slash someone who bought some hammers. Just there. And there we've got his hammer and his Trust Me I'm a Blacksmith cup. That's part of his being a Patreon. These are the new cups. It's like different eyes on the back. And then uh, he's got his uh, Trust Me I'm a Blacksmith key ring. And also the trust me I'm a, oh this is a limited edition 500 subscriber bottle opener. So I'm going to wrap this up and I've got Chris's on the floor over there. We're going to the big pit today guys. We're going underground aren't we? Is that where you've got a light on your head? Yeah, cool. I'll video in the lift, won't I? So I had done a video up in Lanavan before and in that video I told you that there was a smithy here where they had us working blacksmith. Uh, he's not here today but the smithy is. Uh, so I'm going to show you around. So we've got... This old girl here, BNS Steam Hammer Massey. Quite the Massey it is as well, she's beauty. And we've got we've got four fires in this building. One, two, three, four. That's quite the structure. They've got some stuff over there for doing cables with. So uh, I found another power hammer. I'm going to keep the power hammer glory going because uh, that's Fletcher hanging off the hammer. Is the power hammer cool, Fletcher? Yeah. Um, so technically, this mine was working until 1983. Um, that's not that long ago, really. And this is some of the stuff they hauled out of it. Yeah. It's all laying around. Oh, we don't need to do the hey guys first every time, Fletcher. There's quite a bit of kit here still. Anyway, there's this power hammer here. I can't work out what it is. Um, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's a Massey or not. It looks like an old, um, it's an old, an old clear space. Yeah. She's a diddler though. There, that's, that's the old I don't know what it is. What do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it's a Massey? Yeah. I don't think it's a Massey. I think it's too old. Oh, I don't know, I can't tell. There's no marks on it anyway. No. But I don't know. We might, we'll have a look around the rest of the museum and see if we can find something else, eh hey, Fletcher? Yeah. Yeah.
these are just some practice pieces that I've done um, for some pieces to go up on the website. I want to start selling tongs properly on the website uh, and being able to produce blanks consistently is really important. So um, I've made these today. Uh, it took me a bit to get here because obviously, you know, testing and practicing, but um, they're uh, fairly consistent. This one's still a bit warm, they're quite consistent. They look really nice. They need a little bit of a little bit of fettling here and there and a bit of wire brushing. Um, holes punched in there and then dress up the jaws. But I'm really happy with them, they look really nice. So um, uh, these are probably gonna end up uh, being yours, Thomas, these ones, these are the prototype. Uh, but that's okay, um, they look really good. I'm really happy with these, probably some of the best tongue blanks I've ever made. Hey guys, this is Kitty. Uh, she's my three weight Massey and she's sporting some gorgeous googly eyes. Now if you like the googly eyes and you're interested in participating in this crazy thing that I've started, you get yourself some googly eyes, stick them on a bit of kit like Andy has here. And I will give you a shout out in my in the next sort of vlog based videos that I do. Now in order for me to find this, you can do it, uh, you can get this picture to me two ways. First of all, you can send it to me via email and then I will post it on Instagram for you, or you can send it to me uh, by um, via Instagram. So basically what you do is you put your post up, you put hashtag googly eyes in the forge and then you put at uh, IA Studios underscore Dan and that way I will see it and you will possibly get your name shouted out in the next vlog video. So good luck guys, see you later. So Ella and I have come down to the Camwood Gallery in, where's the Camwood Gallery? Checkley in Herefordshire. Checkley in Herefordshire, good job she's here because I'd forgotten, uh, to see some of her work. There they are in all their glory. Are they good? So Ella made these for Fresh Air about two years ago, three years ago. Two years ago. And uh, a series of chairs to represent the parts of a, yes, go and sit on them. A series of chairs to represent the parts of a, um, there she is, the silhouette of a water wheel that was at um, Quennington, which is a Fresh Air, which was the exhibition called Fresh Air. And they're here at the minute for the next, well you don't know yet, do you love? They could be here for a while. The next month at least. Yeah. So, just knocked the fire off so I can have a quick chat with you guys. Um, I've just poked this hole here uh, and it's going really quite well. These are the railings uh, for the upset job, upset video I did the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description. Um, but basically, I've got to punch these three 16mm holes. There was also a hole punching video that I did uh, not so long ago that also relates to these. Um, so, I've got one of these in the fire. These three are sitting on the bench waiting to go. And uh, they're looking rather dapper, even if I do say so myself. See the tongs there from earlier. Uh, so, a little bit of a rejig with a fire. I'd put some blocks at the back because otherwise it'd push all the coal off. Uh, and uh, this doesn't quite sit flush enough for me. Um, so what I've had to do is uh, build the sides up a bit.
are done. Uh, really happy with the way they've turned out. I've run out of coke as well, so I know need to go and get some, and I think I've got a shed load at home, so I'm going to go see if it's there. If not, it's off to Locks to buy some I think coke. this whiteboard here is going to become a permanent feature of the channel because I have been using it um, to sort of make a rough script of what's going on. Anyway, enough of that. I hope you enjoyed that little collection of random stuff that you just watched, uh, and uh, I'm just going to go over the news. So the first thing I'd like to cover is that we are at 2,000 subscribers, all very nearly. Uh, making this video, we're at 1,925, so we will be very shortly. Uh, I not only got a shout out from another YouTuber, which really helped, uh, I also made a bit of an advertising boo-boo by making um, quite an enticing, it would appear, quite an enticing video and stuck it up all over Facebook. So there's a lot of you turning up really rapidly. Now I wasn't expecting that, uh, so that's kind of messed up where I thought we were going to be for the 2000 subscriber challenge. But it will be coming, uh, I have set a date for that. And that date will be the 29th and the 30th of September. So this month I've got a guy coming up to come and help me, Stephen. And also, uh, I'd like you guys to think about the next challenge. So the next challenge is 4,000 subscribers. That's 40 kilos or uh, 88 pounds, if I'm quite right. So um, on the 29th, I'll be making the swivel shackle thing and all that jazz. And then on the 30th, uh, I will be doing all of the uh, chain links and that will be about 51 chain links if I remember rightly maybe it's 49 I can't remember it's somewhere around there anyway so um, I know some of you guys said you were going to get links to me if you are you need to do it really quickly you've got till the end of the month basically um, so if you're going to make some chain uh, make a link I look forward to seeing it um, the next thing I would like to talk about news wise is I really want to start promoting tools and stuff on the website. I'll leave my link down below to the website. Basically, um, that's what the whole this job was. Uh, this guy called Thomas, he's getting a, a starter set made from him. Basically, what he's going to have is a pair of tongs, one of the hammers, uh, he's going to have a block brush, a pair of gloves, and a couple of punches. Um, so basically, He's paid for that kit. I'm going to do a video tutorial about how it's going to get made and what's in it and why it's in there and what I think is good about each one for a beginner. Uh, uh, but also things like these block brushes, tongs and hammers will be, I'm going to get it all sorted over there so it's a lot easier to do and get sorted out um, for you guys to get your hands on stuff should you want it. I'll also be putting tools up there that I think, um, you know, like um, sort of like you know, tools I think that are a good deal that you should be using in the workshop should you want them. So, uh, pens and stuff like that, that might help you out. Uh, lastly, Patreon giveaway. The Patreon giveaway for this belt was supposed to have happened a while ago. Unfortunately, um, I'm awful at hitting deadlines. I'm going to try and get a bit better at that, but I am definitely going to do this giveaway, but I'm not going to give this belt away because I've grown quite attached to it. I quite like it. Uh, but I will be giving this belt, uh, not this one, sorry, the new one I'm going to make on Saturday. I'm going to do a little Patreon-based video on Saturday for you Patreons out there, uh, and um, you will be able to get your hands on this on... Uh, yes, it will be after Saturday at some point, uh, so that will be in about say about five, six days, something like that. Look out for it. Shout outs. Um, I got a shout out the other day from Tim over at Big Dog Forge. Dude, you're amazing. Thank you so much for a shout out. It's really, really, really helped. Um, I've got a load of subscribers off the back of your shout out and um, loads of really kind messages from people saying, oh, this uh, Tim gave you a shout out. You should go and check it out. Thank you very much, Big Dog. I, I do watch your videos. I do enjoy watching your videos. And I think perhaps maybe if you're keen, I'm keen to do a thing together, but that's if you're keen. <laughs> so the final shout out I'd like to do is a serious one. It's about a guy called Chris Cassidy. He is a subscriber of mine and a Patreon. Uh, he is um, currently admitted himself into hospital to help get over his PTSD. Now, I don't know enough about his symptoms and what he's going through to comment on, but I do know that there are a lot of you guys out there uh, that are veterans um, and 
for whatever reason you found blacksmithing and I'd like to know, first of all, if you are a vet, that'd be great, chuck that down in the comments and let me know, but also secondly, uh, if you found blacksmithing um, via some sort of rehabilitation program, um, it's really interesting to me that people use craft um, blacksmithing, for example, or ceramics, pottery, like throwing, they use craft to help uh, concentrate the mind on mediocre tasks or sort of physical tasks uh, and allow, you know, to take your mind off your problems. I guess that's sort of a rough way of doing it. Uh, but I, th I think it's really interesting and I'm really, really, really excited about that. Now, the reason I brought this up is because um, not so long ago we helped a kid called Alex Casano. Uh, he has dystoia, uh, which meant that he couldn't use one arm for some reason. Anyway, um, I always do that disco arm <laughs> is really bad. Uh, but he couldn't use one arm and um, we got together some other guys raised some awareness um, and I did a little bit of trying to get you guys to go and find out about him and help support him uh, raise some money for a power hammer which we did, we got a really lovely Ang Yang power hammer um, I've seen a few videos of him using it and uh, it looks like he's getting on quite well now that's great uh, but um, I would like to start raising some awareness now for veterans um, and well anyone really that could use blacksmithing to help better themselves, better their lives somewhat uh, if you kind of understand what I'm talking about. Now if any of you guys have any ideas on how we can do this, chuck that down below. Um, I am, um, yeah, no, I'm really keen to start a conversation and, and maybe building um, something through the channel to help guys who either have PTSD or you know they're disabled and we might be able to help them get into blacksmithing somehow, uh, so that sort of thing. So if you guys uh, have any ideas or you know of any programs that exist that I might be able to link into a little bit, um, I'm not, I don't want to take any credit for anything, I just want to get a ball rolling if we can. Um, so you probably aren't drinking at the minute Chris so I'm going to have this one for you. Uh, this one's for you, Chris. Get well soon, mate. Uh, I will share in the description below a link to Chris's Instagram where he is posting pictures and images of his day-to-day -day rehabilitation in hospital. Uh, it would be really nice if you guys went over there as well and said hello, leave a like or two um, on his Instagram if you can. I'll, I'll leave a link down below. Thank you. Okay, so the last bit is the videos up and coming. Uh, I've got a few little ideas for videos coming up uh, that I'd like to share with you guys to see what you think. And also, um, I have, uh, I'm just running over what's coming up over the next couple of days. I'm currently finishing the second part of How to Make Money as a Blacksmith. I will be doing the Patreon giveaway video, which will be coming very soon. And then there'll be the 2,000 subscriber challenge, which will be the... Uh, 20 kilos of chain or 44 pounds of chain depending on how where you are in the world. Uh, I'll also be doing a building a belt grinder series. I really need a belt grinder to finish off some of the projects. Uh, it would make, make the hammers a bit easier plus I'd like to get into axe making a bit more. Uh, something that I'd really like to do. And there's one last thing I want to share with you guys and I think this could be an exciting little series as well. This is the Lilico book, sometimes referred to as uh, the Blacksmith's Handbook or the Blacksmith's Bible. Uh, and you're all going, but I've never heard of it before, Dan. And that's because it was made a limited run. Uh, it's not available in shops. And um, it's, um, it's something that the college produced. Uh, and I don't know why, I don't know quite how it all came about, but I do know that the college got involved somehow and they have a massive collection of these books for sale. Now, the books are written by a guy who's based in Birmingham and it covers everything from how to build a forge to types of tools that you might use in the workshop, how to use stuff under the power hammer, how to make things. Uh, and it's just a great little book, especially if you're starting out or you've just got a power hammer, just anything, you know. It's really good, it's really well illustrated and it's got written text to support the illustrations. Now, I'd like to start going through this book uh, and start making things from this book as a series. But, um, so not only does it support me a little bit, it gives some money to the college, but it will also give you some text, hard text stuff that you can take to the workshop and help produce uh, the items I make with a video. So you can see me make them and then you can get hold of this book. So for example, they talk about supports. Um, these sort of anvil stand jobbies. I really would like to make some of these. 
Uh, what I can do is I can make them here in the workshop, you can use the book, you can find out how to make them uh, and basically it will give you a bit more of a rounded idea of the principles and ideas and the basic step by steps that you need to learn to do, um, to do some of the tasks in this book. The last thing I'd like to cover is uh, for the chain challenge, um, I am going to put up uh, a run of t-shirts and there will be 10 t-shirts available basically uh, and the only way you can get the t-shirts is all 10 t-shirts support. So uh, when it rolls around um, I will show you the t-shirts that are going to be are available or I'll show you the link so you can get hold of them and then basically what you can do is you can choose to get one or not and if we sell all 10 um, I will they'll basically they will get sold but if we don't sell all 10 then um, they won't get sold uh, and if people want more and it's like crazy more like 20 people want them I'll do another run of them so if you're interested in t-shirts let me know down below that'll give me a rough idea uh, but if not don't worry about it too much mm. right um, Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like. If you didn't, um, then don't like. Don't do whatever. <laughs> but uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, I know there are loads of new guys who have subscribed. Subscribe. If you are a new subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications every time I make a video. The little video, uh, it will let you know that I've made that video so you can get hold of it and watch it straight away. Uh, it really does help. If that's anything else um, was to help it's you guys watching the whole video and also just you ringing that bell and clicking on the video when the notification comes up it seriously helps i genuinely mean that uh, also uh, check your comments down below on anything i've talked about vets uh, chain links belts ideas for videos to come up whether or not you like the ideas the tools whatever i've spoken about chuck a comment down below or just say hello or um, say uh, Iggy Wiggy Woo um, <laughs> in the comments. I don't know why I said that, but say it anyway. Um, I will just chuck all the names of Patreons up as phone screen where you'll have all your links and stuff to go on there. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for joining me. Goodbye.